A crazy police chase down I-64 in the rural James City County, and police say a teen was behind the wheel. It all began with a stolen vehicle in Powhatan County outside Richmond. The chase itself began on 64 in New Kent County and ended outside a subdivision in James City County, but not before a whole lot of damage to some police cars. And Tenier Sides Aaron Kelly sorts out these chains of events for us. Neighbors say they heard the sirens but didn't see the pursuit. According to investigators, it lasted 45 minutes, starting on the highway and ending here near a neighborhood one county over. The New Kent County Sheriff says a Virginia Beach teen driving a stolen car led five vehicles from his office and Virginia State Police on a chase early Thursday morning. Investigators say the teen was speeding, heading east on 64 around 12.30 a.m. According to deputies, the teen wouldn't stop got off at the West Point exit and kept speeding east on Route 33. Then investigators say the car turned around and started going down Route 249. Later, the sheriff says the teen pulled onto this unpaved path, Pamunkey Church Road, before eventually ending up back out on Route 249. The sheriff says at one point, the car headed right for a deputy who had to jump out of the way. Sometime after 1 a.m., the sheriff says they stopped the teen off Route 30, near the entrance of the Stonehouse community. Authorities are not identifying the teen because he's underaged, but he's facing charges of attempted capital murder, eluding, destruction of property, grand larceny, and others. The sheriff says the car the teen was driving was reported stolen out of Powhatan County and that three sheriff's deputies' vehicles were damaged during the pursuit. In James City County, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.